I'm Stuart Thompson, editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Vincent Gatton, who's head of partnerships at Dot Screen. Vincent, can you talk about some of the challenges that uh, companies face when setting up an OTT service today? Of course. Thanks, Stuart. It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, so uh, some of the common challenges uh, that we see with our different clients is that uh, you know, hold, maintaining that, that subscriber base that they, they, they try to find, uh, as well as um, you know, really just promoting themselves and really trying to find that the most effective way to get to market quickly. Uh, we see different approaches throughout the throughout the, our different clients, um, but uh, you know, the, I really think that that's probably the more the more challenging parts that, that we see with them. Right. So, I mean, one thing you're focusing on is a multi-vendor approach to to solving these challenges. Can you talk a little bit about the advantages of a multi-vendor approach and how the challenges of that can be overcome as well? Of course. Yes. Yeah. So we we realize that there is that that allure of the one-stop shop. You know, you go to the one guy and they, they claim to do everything under the sun. And what we found from our experience is that uh, it does look good on paper, but really there's going to be cracks that, that fall in that kind of model. So what we find and what we advocate for at Dot Screen is that multi-vendor approach, because you find the right guys who are highly specialized, uh, they know what they're talking about, they have the experience with, with uh, this, this really fragmented industry that we're in. You know, it, it's, it's a small niche industry, but at the same time, you know, we have so many different vendors, so many different players. Finding the right specialized person to really drive the, the integration uh, and really be able to be flexible and, and deliver the needs that our that the clients and the OTT providers want, uh, we find that that is the most advantageous for sure. For sure, yeah. Great. How does Dot Screen itself really differentiate itself in in this market in, in terms of providing? Uh, so that's, that's a very good question. Thank you. So Dot Screen, uh, we really focus on what's called or what we call native development, native app development. Uh, we don't use any type of framework. Uh, we find that. A lot of our competitors believe in that develop once, uh, deploy everywhere, which we found from experience just does not work. Uh, with native app development, what we do is we take the SDK of the of the target device, whether it be smart TV, um, bright script for, for Roku, for example, and we make sure that we're developing our applications as light as possible, as close to the application layer as, as we can. And what we find with that is that we make sure that the user experience is optimized for that specific platform. So it, we've we've done, uh, for example, one of our, our clients in our TB, as RCBF for OVO. Uh, they've contracted us to do uh, all of their uh, the user interface for all of their different devices. Uh, and it, what you can do, what you can see from from PlayStation Five all the way down to the the lower set top boxes, is we're maintaining that that user experience, and we're able to do that simply by the way that we develop the applications. Uh, additionally to that, uh, we work. Um, we, we are, pride ourselves on being one of the quickest to markets. Uh, so average for our application is about three to four months. Uh, and of course, when we bring in some of our preferred partners, uh, we can usually even streamline that further. Uh, we do specialize just in UI UX, but we do have a, a long list of partners that we're happy to work with and bring them onto the project to, to make sure that we're as quick to market as possible. For sure, yeah, great. And obviously the front end, the UI, mm -hmm. is a very important part of this. Mm -hmm. um, how important is it and what makes a great UI? So, of course, in our industry, uh, I, have to, I have to say that the key term is content is king. I think that's always going to be the case. However, uh, right after that, I would say is UI. Uh, UI is where our, where the OTT services they make their brand. Uh, you know, the, obviously the logo, the colors are there, but this is the thing that their clients are going to see. This is what's going to drive their uses of subscriber base to keep coming back to to, to subscribe in general. Uh, and this is really a chance where our clients or our, the OTT vendors and themselves can really make a name for themselves. You know, of course, you have the. Uh, some some larger names that you just you know off off the top of your head, but you know these smaller tier two, tier three guys like th this is really their chance to really promote themselves and really make a custom custom interface that's easy to use, that's really attractive, and will keep people coming back for more. Yeah, cool. and obviously it's it's a multi-screen experience. Mm -hmm. What what are the challenges in delivering that consistent user experience across those different screens, and what can you do to to help mm -hmm. overcome that? As a UI UX specialist, what we're seeing is, I mean, the the device market is huge and highly fragmented. You have devices uh, that range from you know as, as as old as from the early 2000s up to the latest and greatest. You have devices as powerful as gaming consoles that can basically write programs themselves, and then you have devices as small as a thumb drive that we see limited power. Of course, uh, the the real trick there is to main, is user experience. The keyword is user experience. Um, of course, you know you have design teams that want to make the the the, the greatest, the most flashy user uh, UI. 
But at the end, it's really about maintaining the user experience across all platforms. We, you, you don't want your your customers going from uh, gaming something as powerful as a gaming console, really comfortable with with how they know exactly where to find the content, how to how to use the application, and if they jump to something that's a little less powerful, they they don't want to be lost. You want to make sure that they know where to go, they know how to find the content that they want, and they're streaming as quickly as possible. Now you've talked a bit about the importance of the UI. Mm -hmm. Just in terms of looking at the user experience overall, how important is that as a way of cementing subscriber yeah. loyalty and, and having people stick with the, the service? Yeah, I'd say, uh, again, it comes down to simplicity. Uh, if, you have, if you have some uh, a user interface or user experience that's very complex, very hard to navigate, uh, it takes, you know, you know, uh, minutes to to find the content that you want. You know, it's a common joke that you know you have such a vast amount of content now. You spend more time looking for something rather than actually watching it. So where the user experience really helps is to have those integrated services, not only from uh, from a design point of view, but you can integrate uh, you know recommendation engines, uh, a friendly search, something that will really will point your clients to the content that they want so they can find it quickly and ingest it as quickly as possible. Great. That's good. Vincent, mm -hmm. thanks very much. Thank you, Stuart.